Harvey Westmoreland appearing on behalf of Mr. Reyna. Mr. Reyna, would you please state your name for the record? It's Ali Moreno. All right, thank you. Today is the date scheduled for probation violation. Your client's on probation for operating while intoxicated. And that was reduced from a high BAC. Well, the high BAC was dismissed. He was sentenced October 31st, had two violations. Since then, March 13th and May 1st, and today it's alleged he got the positive for cocaine and marijuana, failed to attend outpatient, failed to appear for drug testing on August 25th, and the positive test was August 21st. And counsel? Yes, Your Honor, I did have an opportunity to speak to Mr. Reyna regarding these allegations, and at this time, uh, we are prepared to waive any sort of uh, contested hearing and enter a guilty plea to the allegations. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear from a testimony about to give this matter to the truth to hold you to nothing but the truth? I, oh, that's what I got to say. What? Why well, couldn't I hear you say what, Miss? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give oh, yeah. this matter to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I agree. Okay. All right. And so you heard the allegations, correct? Yes, miss. But um, I have this other piece of paper that was in my files, and it was from the court saying I, like, complete the a chemical awareness program. I got it right here. I'm at court right now just to show okay. more respect. I don't know if you were able to come down and see this paper real quick. We're we're not here about your failure to. Uh, oh, it's I know that, but it's. In, program. It, I'm just saying, like it's not in my files, so I came down just just to say that no. you know. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, sir. And um, yes, we have proof that you completed the chemical awareness program because you're not violated for that. Okay. <clears throat> and okay. Um, okay. Sir, as to the allegations, how do you plead? Uh, what would uh, I plead guilty for it? Like, that I've done it? Okay. And, sir, you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Yes, miss. And uh, you understand all those rights, correct? Yes, miss. And you also understand by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your right to a contested hearing. Yes, miss. And <clears throat> you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, correct? Yes, miss. Okay. And you also understand the Recommendation here is specifically for you to revoke probation or have probation revoked, pay a $50 probation violation fee, 30 days jail. Do you understand that? Yes, miss, but I I, I can't so really. Hold on. hold on. We'll get to that in a moment. And okay. knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea. Guilty, yeah. Okay. Has anybody promised or anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No, miss. All right. <clears throat> and counsel, you may want to do your client, please. Sure. Mr. Reyna, are you currently on probation out of the Wyandotte District Court? Mm, what do you mean? Are you on probation out of yeah, the I'm court on probation. that you're sitting in currently? Yes, I'm on probation. Yes, sir. As a term and condition of your probation, are you to not test positive for any drugs or alcohol that you don't have a prescription I for? I, w I wouldn't test for nothing right now. No, that wasn't my question. My question was, as a term and condition of your probation, are you to not test positive for any drugs or alcohol? Oh, yes, sir. Did you, in fact, test positive for cocaine and marijuana 
on yes, August sir. 21st. Yes, sir. Sir, you need to please let Mr. Westmoreland complete the question before you answer it. We're recording and it can only pick up one at a time, please, okay? I hear you. And did you fail okay. to test as ordered by probation on August 25th of this year? Yes, sir. And you understand that both testing positive for drugs and failing to test is a direct violation of your probation? Yes, sir. Okay. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violations, indicating technical violations four, five, and six. And counsel asks for the recommendation. Yes, Your Honor. I, I would just be asking for leniency on behalf of Mr. Reyna. Uh, he's 21 years old. He's extremely apologetic for his actions. He is gainfully employed at Beast Construction full time. Uh, I would just ask that any jail time uh, be suspended at this time and ha have that set for a review. Give give uh, Mr. Reyna one last opportunity to prove to this honorable court that he can be a uh, good candidate for probation. Yes, Ms. Uh, uh, would I be able to speak? Go oh, ahead, sir. Yeah, um, I've been I've been trying my best. You know, I haven't had any other accidents. I haven't got any anybody any cops. Um, like no, like nothing gone wrong. You know, I've been doing good. I haven't came up with any drug tests wrong, but I have been doing my therapy. I've been doing my GED. I have class at five to seven during the day. I would have got. Uh, a paperwork that confirms that I'm in GED, but she opens until five to seven. So that's during the day, you know? And I, I just been doing honestly really good, you know? I know I can mess up and I really apologize for that. And, but I haven't done any like crime. I haven't done nothing that could ruin my future or it could, but I haven't done anything. I haven't got no tickets for anything driving illegally. I'm not doing any of that. I don't, I'm not driving off the influence of any drug. I, anything else, it's no, I haven't done it. I haven't been drinking or driving. I've been staying away from that. But it just, it's just a mess up that I know that I could do better at. And, you know, I'm just, I'm a good kid, you know, I worked, I really work, I work hard, and I just want to have, just want to have the best come out of me, you know, I'm just, I'm a good kid, you well, know, I work. Sir, yes, okay. here's a few things, the first thing is, is that your last violation was for use of alcohol. And the court indicated 30 days on the alcohol tether and mandatory jail for future violation. In addition, your hearing, your violation before that was use of cocaine and failed to submit to a drug test. And two of your I allegations are you failed to attend. You failed to test, and you also tested positive for cocaine. I hear you, Miss, and it's just a big problem. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you hear me, because you must not have heard me very well the last time in May when you were here. Because it's not just, only did you violate one time, you violated three times, twice for one for the same thing that you just violated for earlier for your first violation. I just a big apology. I apologize for that. And well, I, I appreciate your apology, but the apology is not keeping you out of jail. You, I cannot come, you cannot follow this court's orders. You now have your sixth violation, six violations that you've had. You don't get any more chances. I hear you. I just need one more, Miss. I just need one more. No, just one more. I just said you do not get any more chances. I just said no, no more chances. Your chances are done. This court's order in May was 
any future violations will result in mandatory jail. I just so jail it is, sir. That's what it is. It can. How am I? How am I going to be able to pay for my stuff? I'm paying court right now. I'm paying. I got fine. So let me so let me remind you of this. When you were here in May, I indicated mandatory jail for any future violation. You have it on your probation, your amended probation order that you received after your last violation hearing. You were on notice as to what would happen if you violated again. You were on notice. You knew that if you violated again, you were going to jail. Mandatory jail. I, not I only did, did you that. violate once, not only did you violate once, you violated three times. I get that, miss, but how am I going to be well, able to... Really because you had marijuana in your system as well as cocaine. Miss, the marijuana, I don't even do marijuana. That's just me being downtown in heli marijuana outside. People smoke every day. Cops don't even care when you're downtown smoking marijuana. No one cares. I'm not saying I don't care personally, but I'm saying when I walk by, there's people... Smoking stuff this big, and I can't sure. tell them what to that do. I cause you to taste positive. Yes, it does, miss. Yes, test. it does. Yes, it does, miss. You do not know how how much smoke comes out that long of a a cigarillo, miss. And in front of cops, in front of cops, me passing by. I, you're laughing too, Miss. Like no, you know sir. That. I'm laughing because I'm telling you the science is that you cannot test positive. I get um, that. Are, are I, you, you telling? Stop, stop, stop. You want me to believe? You want me to believe that while you're walking past somebody downtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want you to believe. That me. you're going to just inhale that much is going to cause you to test positive. Yeah, honest. Yeah, Miss. I'm. I'm. Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Do you want to go? You got it. What can I say? Well, well sir, I, what I, you I need to pay, pay is that I need to pay my court. I got to, I need to work. My dad doesn't work anymore. He was the one that used to help me out. I'm the only one working at home now. I, I, that that's it. I only got a couple hundred dollars to do, and I jail time is not gonna help me, you know. And I need, I I need to work. That's the thing, and I I'm really apologetic for being on bad terms and doing stuff that is not right. <laughs> and I just it's a big part. Of, Apologies for it. I try to do better. I haven't done anything else. I haven't drove in legally. I got here. My parents took me here. My parents are here and with me. They brought me here. And I just I try to do I'm I'm just a really apologetic guy. And I'm the only one that's working right now and I need to pay that off. I jail time okay, is like sir, then you know what? Then before you before you decided to violate this court's orders again for the fourth, fifth, and sixth times, you should have kept that in mind. That should have been your focus, and that should have been your motivation. If jail wasn't, I don't have anybody to help me now. I, I don't have anybody to help me. I hear you. I hear you, and I know, and I haven't been thinking about it, but I need to pay this off. And jail time is not going to do me any right. And I apologize for every, everything I did. I Sir, know. there are punishments for actions. There's accountability for actions, right? The accountability for your actions, sir, is 30 days jail. And that's what you're doing. So the court officer's right there, and that's what's happening. 30 days jail, revoke probation, case closed on improvement, 50 probation violation fee. 
So is, is Zach going to take off the probation? You're no longer on probation. You're going to serve 30 days and you're, 30 days jail and you're done. Is There's nothing else I can do? Well, no, not at all, sir. No. You can stop using cocaine. That would be a start. All right. Good luck to you, sir.